Welcome back to another How It's Made episode of building the EMG6 electric motor glider. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the use of 3D printing technology for manufacturing components on the EMG6. Currently, we have over 140 3D printed components that can be used on the EMG6. Using LPD, or Layered Plastic Deposition Printing, allows us to make highly precise, low-cost, lightweight parts that are perfect for use on aircraft. Combining the capability of SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling software with the 3D printer allows us to manufacture very complex shapes that are ideal for the use in drag reduction applications. When making drag reduction fairings, there's always a trade-off with the amount of weight that will be added to the aircraft, the cost and complexity of the part, and all of that in comparison to how much drag reduction we can actually achieve. If you like, we can call this the cost-benefit ratio. With the 3D printer, the ability to manufacture specialty parts that render an outstanding cost-benefit relationship becomes not only a possibility, but a resource that completely changes the way that we design and build experimental aircraft today. Creating a thin wall fairing like we use on the EMG6 jury struts not only improves the drag profile, but significantly enhances the aesthetic qualities. This with a total weight of the ABS part weighing only 6 grams. For other fairings, we have the ability within the 3D printing software to significantly reduce the weight of a part by creating a honeycomb or lattice structure in place of solid plastic. On some parts, this can reduce the weight of the part by nearly tenfold. In addition to creating a large selection of parts for use in drag reduction applications on the aircraft, we also have a significant number of 3D printed components for practical, structural, and even aesthetic purposes. Many of the placards on the aircraft can be very easily 3D printed and then bonded directly to the existing 3D printed structures. To utilize the 3D printing technology to even another level, we have developed a series of specialty tools to assist the builder during the construction process. These 3D printed tube marking tools can save a significant amount of time while increasing the accuracy of marking tubing for the construction process. We manufacture them from all the sizes of tubing that we use on the EMG6 from 1 half inch to 2 inch. One of the greatest joys of building experimental aircraft is the ability to put into practice new technologies as they come to the forefront. We are proud of our open source policy with the EMG6, and as a result, all of the 3D model components in the associated STL files are accessible through the Adventure Aircraft website builder database at no charge. Well, we've come to the end of another How It's Made episode of building the EMG6. We hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the things that we're doing with the 3D printer technology as it relates to the EMG6 electric motor glider. Remember that we really appreciate you taking the time to like our videos. And until next time, happy flying!